Wow, what a way to start out here. How, welcome, Western New York, to a men's college basketball game here on LCTV. I'm Jim Sloy along with Jim Rhodes as the Pittsburgh, Titan, Pittsburgh Titusville, easy for you to say, Panthers come in and invade Niagara County as they come into the Niagara County Community College as they take on the Thunderwolves here. Jim and... Uh, um, wow, I'm at four, six foot one inch freshman number 42, Hyrie Peoples. And at center, a six foot four inch junior number 24. Aaron well, Jim, I was trying to write down the starters here, but uh, I did not find any of them on the list that I was given. So, uh, and now for your home standing, right, the one I gave you has them on there, I believe. Okay. I have one of those. So, as we can said here, one of the things, Jim, on our preview here, one of the things that you're not going to see on the sidelines today is the T Wolves have really made a big turn for the, for the better, and uh, the Thunder Wolves are in there as. Four, six, two, um, head coach Bill Beeline's team here Jerome comes in here as a, and they come in but they're going to be without head at coach four, Bill six, Beeline. Four, Keith Hack will be doing the duties as head coach here this afternoon. Uh, a double technical foul against uh, Lakeland uh, last game uh, causes uh, the coach to sit out a, a, a one game suspension and, and uh, we'll let that go but he had the opportunity, Jim, of coming up and watching these Thunder Wolves as the uh, opening, uh, as the starting rosters are coming up. Spirit, spirited practice this week. They were uh, really in, in a very good flow, working on a lot of different things. They told me they're going to bring their A game here today. And one of the things, though, I look over, Jim, at, at uh, head coach Glenn Bobick's uh, Panthers team over there. I only see five dressed players. If that's the case, this will be awfully tough for them. I mean, this game here, we've watched NCCC. They run and gun, and, and there's going to be fouls in this game. I got uh, the starting lineups for them. It will be uh, number 13 of the uh, freshman guard, James Scott. Also starting uh, will be number four, John Bobick, the uh, coach's son, is in there as well. Number 24 will be starting center will be Aaron Barton. He's going to jump the tip off out there, along with number 42, Hyrie's Peoples. As they'll get going, we'll get the uh, NCCC starters here in a moment. As the Panthers will control the tip off here, the opening tip off. You'll see right there. Number three, Jerome Matthews gets the start. There's one of the stars of this team. And that is Vince Kazmierczak. Kazmierczak opens up the scoring for the uh, T-Wolves. He is on there as well. Also, Lorenzo Joseph, number one. He has the ball right now. He pulls up with a jumper. He'll knock it down. Lorenzo right, Joseph so is on the board here. Four quick points for the Thunderwolves. Rounding out the starting lineup would be number five, Isaiah Johnson as they get it back, behind the back pass over there, right on cue, Johnson misses it, but fouling up is Kazrazak, and we're gonna time out on the floor right now as they're gonna talk it over as a boom, boom, boom. In the first 55 seconds, we got a 6-0 lead by the Thunderwolves. And a quick timeout called by head coach Glenn Bobbick. Jim rounding off the, uh, I believe I mentioned the starting lineup. I'm a, if I miss somebody, I excuse myself, but Keith Hack is the general there. Head coach there, here you see Glenn Bobbick talking things over. The cheerleaders are in stand, Jim, and uh, your thoughts, I know you were over talking to both, uh, both staffs there. It's gonna be pretty tough uh, when, uh, this might be the first time that we've done a game where the uh, officials will outnumber the members of one of the teams by the, t by the day's end. Yeah, they come in here and they've started everybody they brought, so. Uh, they just have the five out here, so uh, they're going to really need to slow it down and play a little bit of half-court offense here if they can. And like we said, N Triple C is run and gun type offense. So Mark Houston, number 15, is the other one out of the starting lineup that I did not mention for for them. Also, I, I failed to mention Connor McGriff, number 15, in the white, 
of the uh, T-Wolves. He is the uh, other starter. So right now, Joseph with the ball, gets it over to Matthews, back to Joseph with a three-pointer on the way. Count it, there's a fire to start. Lorenzo Joseph, five of the first nine points. Nine nothing lead here, Jim. And with five players on there, and there's a play and knocked down as Isaiah Johnson intercepts. They get it over to Kazrzak. Kazrzak down in the corner. Gonna slow things up a little bit. Lorenzo Joseph will. They were working a lot on the half court offense. They go in there, they dish it out. There's Johnson on a jumper and a three pointer on the way. Isaiah Johnson gets the three, a three pointer and 12 to nothing is the score here as they reach in. They're gonna get a reach in foul. Looks like it might be called on Joseph. We'll wait and see. No, they're gonna call it on Johnson. Number five, Isaiah Jim, we've watched this NCCC team over the years and under the, the, the direction of tutelage of Billy Beeline, and, and uh, they are, like you said, Jim, a run and gun team. Usually a lot of pressure for them. Uh, usually play with a lot of pressure in your face kind of defense. Baseline jumper won't go. There's a bunch of nice job on the Boards is Hyrie's Peoples gets on the board there with a nice rebound and put back up, tip up and in. 12 to 2 though, 10 point lead. Now your community looking down there. Vandegrift now gets it out to the top. Johnson over to Matthews. Jerome Matthews back into Kazerzak, give and go. They're going to go in, dish it out here. There's a jumper by Joseph on the way, a three pointer. Count it. Joseph with his second three pointer. Joseph, three, six, eight points now for Joseph here in the first two minutes. Running the gun now, Bobbick's gonna go in there. He's gonna try to run him one-handed, that won't go. Run down in there by Joseph. Joseph coming down, he's leading the charge for the Thunderwolves. They'll dish it back to Kazersack. He'll fake it into the corner, bring it into the paint, dish it back out to the outside. Matthews found Joseph, they're gonna call him for the travel, a little move at the top of the arc, and it'll be a turnover. Traveling. Jim, 15 to two, what a huge start here for the T-Wolves. Yeah, and we're only three minutes in right here, and they've just come out here, though, and just high pressure, taking the steals, running off on the fast break, and just getting it down to the other end of the floor, so they're going to be tough to deal with all night long. John Bobbitt gets his pocket pick, three on the run, three on, oh, a nice job by Johnson as he gets it into Joseph, and Joseph gets the easy layup right there as he has 10 points already, 10 of his team's 17 points, and we're gonna get a foul on the play. Johnson picks up his second foul, so two team fouls. Johnson quickly gonna get uh, replaced, I believe, as they go in, dish it down into the paint. There's a little move in there before the bucket. We're gonna get a travel, I believe, called, as it was dished off down low to number 24, Aaron Barton, and Barton took a step before he went up. Boy, Jim, is tough to be trailing 17 to two and then get the ball in the paint and then take steps. Yeah, Mark Moriel comes into the game. Moriel, number 34, he comes in. Everybody remembers Mark. From Luport High School, Lewiston, New York. Triple C will inbound the ball here. They get it back out on the outside. Joseph down Vandergrift down into the paint. They're in there. Matthews is taking a look. Hands it off on a nice give and go. And Vandergrift gets the, the bucket there. He is on the board for the Thunderwolves. They pick it back up, get it out. There we go. Almost stepping into the lane right there. Connor Vandergrift after the bucket almost gets the steal. And our officials today, Jim, right on top of the play, Roger Brick, Don Neubauer, and Brady Doink are the three officials on the floor for us tonight. Yeah, they get their work cut out for them in this game with only five players on the Panthers squad. There's a shot that won't go. Nice rebound underneath, put back up, and a foul. Good job that time by Mark Houston underneath, and he gets it to go. He'll go to the line shooting two. Number uh, 15, Connor Vandergriff is first. It's Vandergriff. I thought he went straight up on that, but he got the arms wow. in and uh, they drew the foul. Two shots now for the freshman, Mark Houston. A little short on the first one. This pace, Jim, though, I mean, uh, I don't think that any five players can keep up a pace like this for uh, 40 minutes as 
Houston makes the first one. And one thing of note here, Niagara Community College, uh, we've been out here the last couple of years, and after the first set of grades and after the break, they've come in here with eight players one year, and you see a nice look inside right there, and Van, uh, Vince Kazmerzak with the, with the bucket. They've come in here with eight players and nine players, and I think tonight there's uh, there's 13 here on the floor, so that's a positive, it's a positive for head coach Bill Beeline. No doubt about it, keeping academics as a, a forefront of the experience here at Niagara County Community College. Now the little dish down low, taking a look, working in there. Barton's gonna turn around with a jumper. Jumper's gonna get a nice little tip and go. So Aaron Barton, he's on the board for the uh, Panthers. Kazmerzik came up, Vandergriff wanted it. He gets it down in the baseline. Now to the top, there's a three-pointer on the way. Counted for Joseph, that's three threes for Lorenzo Joseph. They're gonna need to get a hand in his face here soon. Um, just about every trip up the floor, he's had that wide open three. Yeah, as he actually, Jim Joseph did a great job on a steal that time, tried to get it in there, and Bobbick had to, uh, had to foul him. There's a shot on the way, a three pointer on the way, so Kazrazak, he goes out, he has nine points already. And he's going to get an offense. Oh, no, we're going to get a blocking foul down on Morial. Foul for 34. Now coming into the game. Bear with me. Charlie Jones, I believe. Charles Jones will come in here as he gets set there. 27 to 5, a huge early lead here by the T Wolves. Their defense is tenacious, even though the other team only has five players. They stay with a man-to-man. -man. There's a jumper on the way by Barton. Barton looks good for the Panthers. He knocks it down. He has four on the night. Get it back into the hands of Joseph. Back over here, Morial. Morial going to look in. Gets it in there to back out. Kazrazak thought about it. Morial's going to put a three-pointer up. That goes off the rim and in. Rebound that time by Barton. Stolen in there. No look pass over to Joseph and Martin. Jerome Matthews did a great job of the steal. Gets a great, a big assist on there. And that ball will be out of play. Three threes and three field goals from the floor for Joseph already here. Jim and we're just six minutes, six and a half minutes into the game. 15 quick points. Yeah, and here at Niagara, they've got a tradition of uh, T-shirt every time a three goes up, and if this keeps going like this, Jim, everybody in the house is going to leave here with a T-shirt tonight. You're right. We got to get us. We'll have to get ourselves one, no doubt about it. As uh, now, they're going to take uh, Jerome Matthews out, get him a little break. I believe that foul, Jim, was on was on uh, Joseph. Inbound the ball now. James Scott will touch the ball. It looks like for the first time here for the uh, Panthers. He picks up. They make him pay on the dribble. Now Houston has it. Houston picks up on a dribble. It's going to make a pay. Kazrazek almost steals it into the paint on the way going in. And the shot's up. Won't go there. Peoples went in there, Jimmy. He was all high. He was playing way above the rim and just couldn't get that roll. Charles Jones, his first. Well, Jim, Charles Jones will pick up his first foul, Jim, and one of these things, we keep getting these whistles, and that's not going to be music to the ears of the coaching staff for the Panthers as Peoples uh, will get the first bucket there. Well, Niagara Community College, they're sitting here already with six fouls, and we're only seven minutes into the game, so they're going to be sending them to the bonus pretty soon. You're right, next foul they'll do that and they can be a score without having any points. There's a shot from the baseline. Knock it down in there as Mike Batista enters the game and he gets two points. Is that a three? That was a three? Not sure if that was a two or a three, but a nice bounce into the paint right there and a put up by Peoples. Peoples has six points. End to end action here as we're getting going. We're gonna have to get we're going to have to find out about Batista, Jim. I thought Mike hit the three-pointer, but I marked it as a two. Kazmierzak now into the paint. He's going to dish it around Jones. Dish it back out to the outside. A three-pointer this time on the way. Won't go by Morial. There's a pass down into the paint. Very unselfish play by Vince Kazmierzak that time. 
and he'll come away with it. Peoples now with a dribble. Well, Batista's was a three because I saw the T-shirt come out. Okay. So, uh. <laughs> well, Mark, I'll, I'll change that on my score then. That's great. Batista now, instead of the two, will have a three. That'll be six three-pointers for the uh, T-Wolves so far. We're going to get a foul on the outside. Looks like that's going to go against Batista. Six three-pointers made so far here uh, early. Uh, almost not even halfway through this first half, Jim. Going to the line will be a freshman, number 13, James Scott there. He'll knock down. James Scott gets on the board for the Panthers. And Demarcus Wells comes into the game, and Vince Kasberzak sits down with nine early points. Looks like it was that was that an apparel an Impala or a Taurus? What was the team uh, vehicle for these uh, <laughs> the players to get here today for, from Pittsburgh Titusville? You said that before. We were joking, but uh, boy, that's absolutely true. Now we're going to get some substitutions in there. Looks like Kushan Hunter will check into the game. Jones will take a seat on a bench for a moment. We'll take a look as Scott will make the uh, second of his two free throws. 32-13 is the score. The Th Thunder Wolves comfortably in the lead here. 2-3 zone in here by the Panthers now. Morreal, he pushes Batista down low. Joseph now gets the ball, works it back at Morreal. Down into the corner. Into the game is number 10 to Marcus Wells. Wells gets it down into the paint. There's a nice strong move. Goes up, blocked in there though. In there by Peoples. And we're gonna get a foul on the play. It's gonna be called against Morial, I believe, Jim. And, and that's 18 fouls already <laughs> here. And we're only, you know, we still have 11.31 to go here in the first half. Moriel, so we're, we're gonna see a lot of foul shots. A lot of foul shots. <laughs> Moriel, that's his second foul right there in the same spot, right in front of the scorer's table. One and one, the Fernandes missed. They were acting like it was a two shot foul, but it was a one and one. Now a three pointer on the way, counted in there, Scott. Max down the three pointer, he has James five on the evening. The Hunter, Jim, he gets the ball, he goes to the paint, he does a spin move and he's gonna take <laughs> steps, I believe. They're gonna call the travel. It's that pivot foot slid about four feet. <laughs> yeah, he walked on that one and... Uh... Inbounding the ball, they'll get it up to Scott. Scott will get over the timeline. He gets into the paint, he's gonna go hard to the, to the floor there. And he's gonna get draw the foul again. Is number 15, Mark Houston for the Panthers. He'll go to the line shooting two as he missed the shot, and just went off the rim. And Jim, 19 fouls on the Thunderwolves right now compared to two for the Panthers. You know, in a game like this so far, it hasn't mattered for them, but uh, I am sure that when Coach Bill Beeline takes a look at this tape at a later date and saw the number of fouls, he's gonna want that corrected. You can't go into a big game this one, they're kind of ahead pretty comfortably already, but you can't go into a big game and foul like that. No, as you know, Scott makes both of those free throws, or excuse me, that was uh, Houston makes both of those free throws, Jim. I mean, you still got a 14 point lead in the mall. You don't want it now. You're going to give it a chance for the other team to score without the clock moving. There's another pass that was forced into the paint that time by Batista and knocked away, and now. That's the way you let a team get back into the game. You come out with a big lead like that, you want to keep that momentum going. And now there's an opportunity, even though down 14. And they're going to have to slow the pace down anyways at some point. They figure if they can keep running and gunning, they'll get them to go. There's a nice little tough tap back up by Peoples. Peoples did a drive, he missed it, and he gets it. Eight points now, timeout on the floor is Keith Hack will call timeout. We're going to get a full timeout on the floor. 10-18 remaining here in the first half. You're watching the best of high school, or excuse me, of college basketball action here on the Niagara Frontier Sports Network on LCTV and in HD under the direction of Phil Sarnicki out in the truck. Rich Zapek at the studio. I'm Jim Slowey along with Jim Rhodes and Jim. There you're going to see a bench there that uh, the coaching staff are probably wondering to themselves, are we going to be able to keep this up for 40? And I highly doubt it. I kind of don't think they can either, but uh, 
they don't have a choice. <laughs> They're going to need to do something. Uh, but they have come out here. They've been pretty resilient here early. They were down, what, 17 early, and they've cut that back down to only 12. But uh, a couple of well-placed shots, and... And they're going to start getting, if the way it's gone so far, they're going to get some of these Thunder Wolves in foul trouble. Then uh, they won't be playing the starters. They'll be playing some of the backups. That's right. Well, 15 points for, for, for Lorenzo Joseph to go along with uh, nine points by Kazbrzak. So 24 of the team's 32 points by those two players alone right now. And uh, you'll see, uh, uh, you'll see uh, Coach Hack keep substituting in, he brings back in now after a rest, Kazmer Zach. He also brings in number 21, Dave Pachucci. Dave Pachucci's back, Pichucci. yep, he's in. He's in, he has the ball, and he brings back in Jerome Matthews now. Matthews is in there as well as Demarcus Wells. A step in there, you know, you watch Connor Vandergriff, and you keep your eye on Vince Kazmerzak. Those two guys have worked together so well. This is their second year, and a three-pointer on the way by Peoples, and he gets it to go, and we're going to get a carry on the play, and I'm going to turn over, and now the Panthers are going to get a chance at it right after making a three-pointer. Yeah, they came out here, jumped out to a real quick lead, and thought this is going to be easy tonight, and... Uh... Yep. Well, Hyre Peoples will inbound the ball. He has... I believe 11 of the 23 points for the Panthers. There they get it out to the outside, a three-pointer on away, and it won't go, tipped away, controlled in there by Wells. DeMarcus Wells gets it over here to Matthews, Jerome Matthews now. He's taking a look, he'll stop, he'll get it back. He's been dumping it back out, a little give and go, high low, then over to Petrucci is in there, down in the Side baseline there as well. As well is going to get double teamed. He's going to come in there. He's going to get a reach and foul. It's going to go against Bobek. I don't believe that's his second. Wait and see. Foul number four, John Bobek, his third personal. Bobek, his third personal, Jim. Bobek is all three of the team's fouls. Are you kidding me? So Bobek gets all three of the team's first three fouls. We'll look in there, Kazmierzev dishes back out, three-pointer on away, count it! Dave Pachucci. Dave Pachucci. gets in there with a three-pointer on the way. That's what the doctor ordered for end trip. Peoples now with a long shot, won't go. Rebound in there by Vandergriff. Vandergriff quickly gets it into Matthews, up to uh, Kazmierzev. Back into Matthews, Matthews looking down on the low. They get it in there, Vandergriff's gonna come up with a loose ball. Give it to Matthews. They got still got a lot of time on the clock here. There's a shot from the outside. Another, Another. three-pointer by Dave Petrucci. Eight three-pointers made so far here in the first 11 minutes of this game by the T-Wolves. Ten by both teams. Oh, I almost got that one, Jim, and it went right over my head. There's a shot and a foul. We'll see if that's in the process. Was that in the number 13? We'll go to the line in any event. They're gonna call a one on one, Jim, so. So foul on the floor. That was before number the bucket. Three, <laughs> They're talking things over now. They're good. Chance to say that is. Three pointers are going to be going on the way now as the as the uh, so that basket didn't count, Jim. It was a one and one. Niagara Community College is checking their uh, t-shirt budget and seeing <laughs> if they have enough to, to throw out here or not. Trip is eating a shirt right now, and that won't go well with the uh, with the staff here. No doubt about it. Is now the th Thunder Wolves come down here. Pachucci now gives it up into the game now is. Truesdell, Tyler Truesdell, number 23, into the game. Matthews now looks in there. Kazmierzak looked for Vandergriff. He gets it down in the paint. Vandergriff goes off the glass and in. Connor Vandergriff. Nice pass in there by Kazmierzak. Those two guys gel so well together. They have for now for two years here. Very exciting to watch. Now Bobek gets it down in the corner. They get, try to get it back in. It gets knocked away. Here come the T-Wolves and a break. Matthews is going to go in there. Work out two of them with a little finger rolling in. Oh, Matthews. Matthews gets on the board, and he deserves it. He's had a number of assists there. 
There's a pass into this, down into the corner. That goes awry. That'll be a turnover. And now the Thunder Wolves will get the ball. They have the 19-point lead with 7.42 to go here. Tyler Truesdell, number 23, is in there. Looking back there, Kazmierzak gets the ball, gets it over there. Matthew stays in bounds with those golden shoes. Tries a three-pointer, won't go. Truesdell with a bucket, gets it to Kazmierzak. He squares, he is gonna miss. No way will Vince Kazmierzak miss that shot from eight feet with his shoulder square. No way at all. Bobic now, he's gonna get double teamed. He's gonna try to give it up. Nice hands in there by Truesdell. They get it in. Scott's gonna go into the paint. He's gonna try a bullet blasting down into the paint and it goes <laughs> right through the hands of his teammate. <laughs> Jim, Nobody's I, catching that one. I thought Brett Favre was back playing for a moment. <laughs> Ronkowski <laughs> wouldn't catch that ball. So I don't uh, know that one was that. hot. Three pointer on the way. Won't go by Pachucci and run down though by by Vandergriff, nice job in there by Connor. Now Vince Kazrazek does, does a little turn. He's outside the paint, takes a look down, gets it to Matthews, will knock it out here to Pachucci. Pachucci gets it over to Matthews, gonna try a three, that won't go. And Truesdell gets it in there. There's the square again by Kazrazek. That time it won't go a little short. He looked up, he was a little surprised right there. I think that he was wide open, nobody was there. 21 point lead now for the Thunderwolves. 6.25 remaining here in the first half. <clears throat> There's a shot, three point run away. That won't go. <clears throat> Kazmierzak runs down the rebound. Here he comes. Bobak's Vince. game has changed since he picked up that fourth or that third foul there early. Not He's not as aggressive, it. so. Scott goes in uncontested there, knocks it down. So James, James Scott. Scott, he'll get a uh, two, a three, and two ones now. Seven points on the on the evening for him. They work it down in low. Thought about it, Matthews did. He goes into the paint. Oh, he gets it in there. It's gonna go on the end line and out, but a nice try. I can tell you what, you know, we get a timeout on the floor. Panthers will call a timeout here, and now 44-25 is the score here, Jim. One thing I like to look at is, you know, Jerome Matthews, number three, what a great player. I mean, and you can see the way that he plays his game out on here. Every coach in the world would love to have somebody like Jerome on their team because he's very unselfish and he's a playmaker. He looks, he's getting more of a kick out of getting the assist than he will get the points. And, uh, you know, that just goes to show you the, uh, that's the heart of a good player. Those are hard players to find, you know, Jim, because those are the type of players that, uh, um, you know, might not show up a lot on the stat sheet or whatever, but they give you that uh, that that big edge. You're absolutely right. He can't. Every I think the first five trips down the floor, he just handed the ball to Lorenzo Joseph, and Lorenzo said, "Thanks a lot." I'm sitting with 15 points here, with you know, still in the first half, he's at 15 points. So very unselfish player. There you see our broadcast location. We got the best seats in the house. Trip is in the house as well. Here he comes, Jim. Uh, was uh, an opportunity there, but uh, you know what? This game, with this pace, I mean, I feel sorry for those players. I mean, even though I know, you know, you know as an athlete, you know, back in my college days, I mean, you know, to play at this level, this pace, and not have a substitute just couldn't happen. And there you see the head coach, Glenn Bobic, uh, talking things over with his assistant and. Uh, He's going to use those timeouts to uh, definitely to his advantage. Well, back when you were in school, had Naismith <laughs> invented this game yet, well, yeah, Jim? There was peach, there was peach back Okay, I just there, thought I'd check. It still was, uh, you still had a run. <laughs> <laughs> Down into the paint. There we go. You might as well go to Hyrie's Peoples. He gets it. You know, you, Jimmy, he was, a, he was a story. They went away from him for a moment, and, and he's uh, the shining light right now for the Panthers. Now coming back into the game, Johnson now dishes it off, gets it around in there. Matthews is down there, Joseph is back in, they get it in there to Jones. Charles Jones with a with the Luel Cinder roll and couldn't, couldn't get it to go. Now Peoples, he's gonna try to move, uh, that's pretty good, try to move Kazrazak back, he wouldn't do it, he steps out on him, he wanted to, try an uncontested three-pointer, but Kazmierzak said, said no way. 
Now Skakel's into the paint. Nice drive off the bucket. Rebound is up there. Joseph comes away with a little loose ball. Lorenzo Joseph running the gun, and he's going to bounce it over to Kazmierzak. Kazmierzak thought about it. He gets it all the way over there. Matthews is going to go to the paint. He's going to go into the air, suspended forever, and he'll get knocked on the uh, arm. He'll go to the line, shooting two. There you see him. There we talked to him. Jerome Matthews, what a smile on his face. What a good player here for uh, B Coach Beeline's uh, team, and we should say Co Coach X team here today. Yeah, he stuck that ball out there, hung it out, waited for the slap on the arm, and still got a shot off. Sinks his first one. Well, so smart player to go in there and just draw that foul. Three points on there. They got that uh, backcourt trio of Joseph Matthews and Johnson back there, a very exciting trio as well. And they got Kazrazak and Jones in there too. You made that second one, Jim? Yes, he did. Okay. I didn't hear who the foul was on, but. Uh... We'll wait and see on that, but they're going into the paint, trying to go up there. There's a nice little left-hander, a nice little soft one. Count it in there as Aaron Burton does a good job in the paint. He has six here on the evening. Now they're in the double oh, bonus, Jim. That's a 10th team foul. Charles Jones on the foul there. That's his second on the afternoon, but now you'll get to see Aaron Barton from the line. His first trip. Good look there. He makes it look easy. The big man makes it look real easy. Nice touch. Joseph now gets it over to Johnson. Johnson. Now into the paint, Kazrazak looking over to Joseph. Back in there, Matthews thought about the three for a moment, but he's gonna give it up. Oh, they get it over here to Joseph. Cross court pass, down into the baseline paint. Dishes it back out. Long distance two pointer, counted in there. Kazrazak was square, he has 13. 3.45 remaining here in the uh, first half. Bobic now with the dribble and the ball. He has a watch by Joseph, man-to-man -man defense by the Thunderwolves right now. Here goes Scott. Scott's going to go into the paint, turn around, let it roll, can't get it to go. Rebound in there by Houston. Houston goes up, gets it to go, and he'll get hammered there as he'll go to the line. He's already made three, three throws. He's got five points, looking for his sixth point. Checking back into the game, Demarcus Wells. Will come in also, Jim uh, Mike Batista. Mike Batista hit a big at three right after he came off the bench the first time. We'll see if he repeats that performance. Houston knocks down, that is six points, four from the charity strike for him. 48 33, 15 point lead. It was as many as 21 at one time. Kazmir a little in and out there with Joseph. Joseph gets it into the corner. Wells now taking a look. He's being watched. Oh, Wells with a little move. He comes up for the three-pointer. Wow, that would have been a highlight. He gets the loose ball again, but now it's Parton comes away with it and quickly gets it up to Bobic. Bobic now. Boak, excuse me. Bobic. Bobak now with a ball dribbling against Joseph. Slows down the pace. See the Panthers, they're gonna slow this pace down, run some clock every time they have the ball. They get it outside. Barton now taking a look, almost stolen away. There it is, it is stolen away this time by Hunter. Hunter's gonna go, coast to coast, and he'll dunk it in there. Sushan Hunter gets his first bucket of the evening. Scott's gonna go into the paint, he'll dish it off. Baseline jumper by Peoples won't go. Run down in there by Wells. Demarcus Wells comes away with it. Wells takes a look, Kazmierzak. Going to go to the outside. Joseph's open for three. That's his spot. Knock it down. Lorenzo Joseph. He's got four three pointers, Jim. I think he's got a piece of tape on the floor because he's hit from the same spot. He's got that down. 18 points so far. Get a whistle on the play. A little running one hander. Joseph, he reached out on that one when he tried to make the drive. And we're going to send Bo back to the line. Back. We'll go to the line now. Looking for his first points of the evening. John Bobak, 202 remaining here in the first half. 20 point lead for the Thunderwolves, 53 to 33. 
Jim, if they throw me one of those T-shirts and it's a double, and we'll extra time put it over my shirt and tie here, and we're gonna <laughs> broadcast with the uh, logo on our chest. There we go. And yeah. Gets on the scoreboard. Go back on with his first point of the evening. Now, they pull it up here. Johnson in there now, number five. Take a look. Wells gets it into Johnson's hands quickly. There's some quick perimeter passing. Trying to open up down low. Wells sneaks in there, gets it to go. Great job, Marcus Wells. Great job of the perimeter passing. That shows you how that quick perimeter passing will open up those lanes down low. Wells just snuck right in there, and Kazmierzak found him. Yeah, he was out in the corner looking for the three, and he snuck down low, and Kazmierzak found him, like you said. Oh, quick hands there, Wells. He's going to get there. bobrick has got to watch out. He's got three fouls. They finish it off. Goes up and in. What a nice <laughs> assist right there as Hunter will get on. Another uh, basket here. Hunter with no hops on that one. He just, <laughs> he got it alone, but he didn't have anything on it. They were given, I think they were given uh, Bobak a little bit of uh, leeway here. I think that they're gonna get uh, Batista with the foul. Batista doesn't like it. He says something to the official. And uh, they walk by Mike and they tell him to, you know, Leave the stripes alone, and I tell you what, that's what they're talking about right now over there with uh, Mr. Hack. You know, you can't. You know, you got a 23-point lead, Jim. You <laughs> can't be arguing against any fouls called against you, even though you got a lot of them. I mean, there's they're in a double bonus. Peoples will knock down the first one, but uh, 14 fouls for the Panthers. I mean, you never want to have your fouls outnumber your points, and that won't happen with the Thunderwolves because they got 57 points. <laughs> yeah, they're on, they're on their way to break that uh, century mark this evening. Kazmierzak, a turnaround jumper, gets it to go. He is just basketball 101, I call him. He is very good, especially when he's allowed to square his shoulders. He's got a great touch and a great shot. 15 points on the evening for him. Go along with Joseph's 18. There's a drive in the paint, gonna go in, and a foul gonna be called on Hunter. As that was a great drive in there. Peoples will go to the line. 15 points for uh, Hattery's Peoples, Jim, uh, in this first half. And that's the 15th team foul as well, Jim. Is it? The you're board stops at that? 10. Yeah, and, no, uh, I was wondering if you were keeping track or not. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, Danny. <laughs> Got that pencil moving. I need more lead. <laughs> Peoples misses the first one. He won't miss two of them, no, as he gets his 16th point now. 30 seconds to go here. Batista's going to put up a three-pointer. Won't go. Rebound in there by Mark Houston. Houston's going to get it now. He'll come away and get it in the hand of Bobak. Bobak's going to go in. Gets it knocked away. Here comes Johnson. Johnson's going to headman the ball up. Take it around. Wells will pull it back up. They're going to run some clock. They're going to play for the last shot. 13 seconds to go. The shot clock is off. They're going to play for the last shot of this first half. They lead by 22. They're going to go back. Johnson's going to dish it out. Batista thought about it. Now he's going to put it up. That'll be short. It's going to go out of play, and that'll be it. That'll be the half of things here. 59 to 37 is the score here at halftime as both these teams will go to the locker room and rest because it's been a very action-packed first half here. You're watching college men's basketball on LCTV. Halftime scored. Thunder Wolves 59, the Panthers of Pittsburgh Titusville 37. For Jim Rhodes, I'm Jim Sloy. We'll be back with second half action from Niagara Trip and following these messages. In 1977, an eight-year-old boy picked up the game of golf from his father. The odds of that same boy then making it to the US and European pro golf tours, one in seven million. The odds of the Big Easy winning the US Open twice, one in 1.2 billion. The odds of him having a child diagnosed with autism, one in 110. Ernie Els encourages you to learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. Welcome to my block party. Glad you can make it. The only triple doubles you get 
Come with fries. Last time you blocked someone, you were online. I can do this all day. Your moves are just gay. <laughs> Using gay to mean dumb or stupid, not cool. Not cool. Not in my house, not anywhere. It's not creative, it's offensive to gay people. And you're better than that. Really funny. I gotta tell us. I want you to go over to stats or whatever. But we're going down to stats, and we, you know, we get together. Western New York. We sit down there, and we just point out different things. And Jim goes, "Look at this bench points: 15 for Niagara trip, none for for uh, Pittsburgh Titusville." <laughs> and I says, I "Get your head in the game, guys. They don't have a bench today. There's only five players." <laughs> uh, awesome. Here as we start second half <coughs> action here. At uh, Niagara Community College, Kezras has going to square up and shoot. Bobak will get the rebound, but the scoring looked like this. High Rees people, number 42, had 16 for the Panthers. Seven apiece by Scott Barton. Houston had six, and Bobak had one. Those are the five players, but there's a number of players. Jim, uh, three, six, nine, ten different scores for. Niagara County Community College, 18 by Joseph and 15 by Kazrazak. As Joseph has the ball there and he's gonna run things down, down into the paint, can't go. Running down the scoring 0-2. Also there are six points for Pachucci, two three-pointers. Four points by uh, Vandergriff and by Matthews and Hunter as well. And uh, three points apiece by Johnson and Batista. Two points by Wells. That's the scoring for the Thunderwolves. And Jim, unbelievable. We were talking with the staff and everybody here at uh, Ntrip, and they were, what, 13 of their first 15 shots they hit. Unbelievable. I was up here this week watching practice, and I actually was giving them a little shooting practice, you know, and uh, trying to tell them how they should start out fast. And, uh, boy, they listen well. Yeah, they started 13 of 15. They ended up 24 of 37, so just under 65% in the first wow. half, and nine of 18 from three. So uh, they're just—they were just draining everything. Nine T-shirts distributed. <laughs> That's amazing. As we get it, uh, two three-pointers for the Panthers, which I'm sure are going to have to slow the pace of this game down here in the second half. And, Jim, uh, we haven't got a score here two minutes in. It was, at this point in the first half, it was 12 to two. <laughs> <laughs> There's a three-pointer on the way. Barton says, I'll take care of that. Barton gets the three, three. He breaks the ice here in the second half. Yes, and that'll give him double digits here. All going in, nice little move there. Matthews gets it and says, I'll take it to the hoop. Gets the play. Bobak gets it into the over the timeline in there, and number 13 is James Scott. He'll slow things up here. Bobak now with the ball. A little move there. Bobak gets the return. He's watched by Joseph. Man-to-man -man defense here by Keith Hack's team right now. Just a reminder to Billy Beelines, and Jimmy, you talked about it, how he's got this team thinking academics as, uh, first as well and uh, doing a good job, but he is missing today's game with a one game suspension from a double technical foul in the previous game. He'll be back in the arena soon. And gets it to go as James Scott gets it James Scott. to roll in. <laughs> Eventually, it hung on the rim for a long time up there bouncing around. Bounce it out to the side. Matthews now gets it. Joseph. Joseph to Johnson. Johnson says, I'll try the three. Knock it down. Another shirt goes to the stand. Isaiah Johnson knocks down his second three-pointer. 
as they got another t-shirt they're getting ready to give away. They get it out there, Barton now, Barton's gonna go in, he'll throw it right in the direction of Tripp. He's the only one on the, in the floor right now that hasn't scored yet tonight, Jeff. Uh, Jim, I just got this in. Two more three-pointers here, and they might, everybody might get a t-shirt tonight. <laughs> There's a kick right there by Harry's people. The one thing you want to do is you want to maintain that 22-point lead if you're in Triple C. You want to play hard, play good, distribute the ball. Don't get in a lot of bad habits here. You're going to have this game. You should have this game comfortably uh, under control here, especially with no subs on the Panthers bench. They're going to dish it out. There was a look in there. There's a travel, no doubt about it. A big travel in there by Barton. Jim, I thought Aaron Barton should have squared up. He had a chance to square up with that three-pointer, and he decided to take a, a travel in the uh, paint. Yeah, he tried to take a run through Connor Vandergriff, and he's a, he's kind of a big body out there. He tried to go around him and picked up his foot. Now he's quickly down there. That's a beautiful play on cue, Jim. Vandergriff sneaks in there. Kazrasak actually was lollygagging it up on the top and everybody's eyes were on him and, and uh, that was a great job by Vandergriff. Tipped away by Kasper Zay the quick hands of Vince. It'll go out of play, it'll be the uh, Panthers ball. Good action here. Got to look for the five seconds, they get it in. There's a shot on a baseline shot, three pointer won't go, tipped away. Nice job by Matthews as he tips it to Vandergriff. Vandergriff gives it back. There goes Joseph on a baseline. He goes in. That won't go. Rebound in there to Mark Houston, and away come the Panthers. Lorenzo Joseph came out in the first half and went seven for seven in the first half and had 18 points in the first half alone. So, uh, so that was a rare miss for him tonight. Jim, there's nine timeouts now. There's eight timeouts remaining here. I think you'll probably see a. At least you'll see all three of them on the uh, Panthers side, but head coach Glenn uh, Bobick takes the timeout here, a full timeout, three timeouts left for the Panthers. There you see Tripp, there you see the cheerleaders. Great place out here at NCCC, let's watch them. Spirit of the cheerleaders getting everybody going. There you see Keith Hack over there talking it over with his his bench. He's going to be, you know, I thought Keith did a great job, Jim, in the first half of, of, of substituting. And, and uh, you know, everybody in a game like this likes to play a lot of minutes. And uh, you know what? You can get a lot of minutes in there. Uh, and, and you look down, you look down uh, the minutes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven or twelve different players in there for uh, Keith Hack's team over there, nice job anyways. Now, yeah, I think he got everybody in the first half um, for at least four to five minutes minimum for right. everybody on the on the team. So. Those, those are quality minutes too, you get that much time in there. Cross court pass, Bobix thought about the three, he's gonna post up for the jumper from about 10, won't go. Nice job underneath there by Houston. Houston's gonna get it stripped away. Here comes Joseph with the ball. He's the thief, he gets it out. Johnson's gonna pull up for three. Won't get it to go. Now, coming back the other way is Scott. Scott's going to go coast to coast. He'll put it up. He can't get the roll. There they come back there. Vandergriff gets it to Kasperzak. Kasperzak's going to wait for his teammates to come up. Jimmy was going to score. He decided to wait for some help. Now he gets it down. Vandergriff gets it out there. Here's a three-pointer on the way for Joseph. Count it! Lorenzo Joseph, his fifth three-pointer of the evening. That puts him at 21 points here on the evening. As Vander Griff goes nuts there, tries to go in. Able to help keep him from going into the stands, Jim. And who said a broadcaster can't be part of this game? <laughs> I, was, I was complaining about that we were a little far, far away. There we go in, uncontested there. Barton makes a nice move, goes in there. Scores for the Panthers. Oh, there, the running one-hander, it won't go off the rim and in. Oh, and a steal underneath there after the rebound and knocked away. It'll 
get a travel there, but a great job, Isaiah Johnson, Jim, in there, and he's got two threes. Anthony Morial will come back in, or excuse me, Mark Morial. Excuse me, Mark. Star, sorry, Mark. Taking the place for Lorenzo Joseph, who's going to sit for a couple minutes. Big smile on his face too over there. That's good. You know, these these guys get along very well together. They were really practicing hard the other day when I was here, and, and uh, that won't go. Uh oh, we got an injured player on the floor. He comes up lame. What are you going to do? You got to work through that. That gets thrown away, Jim. Number 15, Mark Houston, to come up lame. I think he went knee to knee with an opponent, and he is hurt. The coaching staff is up checking him out. He says, I'm tough, I can handle it. He knows he can't afford to go out in, in, in a game like this, so there isn't any bench. Oh, and he's rubbing it pretty well over in the corner. He's still not moving very well. See, that's on Westmore down on his shin, so yeah, he had some. Oh, there's a steal in there too. Johnson's gonna get a steal. We're gonna get a foul on the return. No doubt about that one. James Scott will pick up the foul. Foul on James Scott is first. One thing here in the second half, I've noted, Jim, the and Triple C is coming out here. Uh, it takes some takes some uh, things off his wrist there, but they came out. They've been a lot smarter with their fouls here in the second half. They've come out. Those drives down in the paint, you don't need to follow the 20 whatever point lead. You don't need to follow going in. Yeah. Just, just play defense, and if they give up a bucket, they give up a bucket. Jim, they had 10, they had 10, 10 fouls at this juncture in the first half. They only had one team foul, and that's one thing that they had to stress at halftime. There's a three pointer on the way. Another one in there. That's three three pointers by Isaiah Johnson. Nice job. There is another t shirt they're going to pull out. They're going to have to rethink this, that's for sure. Need a t-shirt watch over there. The... Oh, oh, going hard up there. They're going to foul. As going down hard on the ground is Hyrie's Peoples. He went hard down there. They're going to call They're going to call Johnson. Johnson says, what did I do? I mean, he, his back was turned to him. I didn't see anything. And he's even looking over there. And the official says, I saw you back into him or whatever. I don't know, I didn't see that. That was, I, I, I agree that time with Isaiah. Johnson was just there, just happened to be the wrong person at the wrong place. We're gonna get a full timeout on the floor here now as head coach Glenn Bullock, Bullock calls a, a timeout. There you see Hyrie's trying to walk it off. Boy, he went down hard. Yeah, he went up, he came down right on the, right on the flat of his back. He had nothing to help him right there. There was no roll or anything to absorb any of that. He, he's gonna take a walk out in the hallway for a minute. Yeah, Brady Dunick, Roger Brick, and Dan Niebauer uh, doing a fine job officiating here today, Jim. I mean, it's always a, you know, you're tough. You sit there and, and you're, you're looking at the, uh, you're standing there in pregame, looking over, talking to the coaches and looking and saying, hey, coach, you only got five players? He goes, yeah. Uh, he goes, all right. That's it. <laughs> but uh, three team fouls, though. Two by Entrip, one by uh, the Panthers, and that's exactly what you were you, you would hope to expect with a, uh, a short bench. And uh, it, 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 Jim, and you also expect to see a 28-point uh, lead as well. You know. You would expect to see that. Uh, well, I think know, I think watching. Are they going to strive for triple digits here? Are they going to try to break that century mark? Harry's Peoples, he's over there watching. He's kind of moving his hands around. It's almost like his fingers are a little numb the way he hit. Well, that's going to be a uh, hill flip. Not a shooting foul. He nope. was, uh, no. Referees are checking to make sure he's okay before they let him continue. They lob it back in there. Moriel almost comes up with a steal. Mark, good job there to get it out to the far side. Now they get it back in the hands of James Scott to Bobak. Bobak. Now they get in there. The people says he's going to try out the shot. Just can't go. Nice rebound in there by Kushan Hunter. Gets it quickly in the hands of Jansen. Now. Marcus Wells out there, uncontested three from the outside, count it! Mark Morial, he is his first three-pointer. Another t-shirt in the stands. 
Houston takes his eye off the ball, but gets it in the paint. He's going to go in there, and a travel call as Barton couldn't find the handle quickly enough. Unfortunate right there. He had the lane. He drove through, and he probably had he had he found the handle, he would have had this would have had the bucket and the foul. This just in. Trip has got a masseuse <laughs> on the arm. The arm is is getting worn out by throwing t-shirts into the crowd. Now they get it out here. Joseph gets it in there. Wells going to try a three-pointer on the way. That's a little short. Won't go. Rebound that time by Barton. Aaron Barton, number 24, gets it in the hands of Bobak. Oh, almost stolen away. Peoples is going to go in. Nice little move into the paint. Houston's going to come up with a draw to T-Wolves, and he'll get it to go. Mark Houston gets a well-deserved bucket underneath. He, he was the one that came up lane a little while ago, and right there he was yes, looking he pretty did. hard in the paint. So, Yep. There's a little lob down low. Oh, right in there. there. That's an easy bucket, but that goes off the back rim. Boy, I'll tell you what, Hunter thought he had an easy bucket. Now a turnover, and it'll be the Panthers' ball. He must have missed your class the other day. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to miss that. One of the things, though, you see, though, is, uh, is the, uh, you know, Jim, the, you, you, a coach will look at it, uh, dissect the game and look at how many times you're missing the paint. You know, those, those will always come back to hurt you. Uh, even in victory, you got to look at that, and you, that's one thing you got to clean up in practice. They were working hard in practice on, on uh, working, or, uh, getting into the paint and then making it count. Now they get it back out here. Scott taking a look. He gets around. He'll be running one-hander. That won't go. He fouls up his own rebound, and they're going to get a foul. This time called on Isaiah Johnson. Will pick up the foul. That's his fourth, Jim. Yeah, he. Uh, He's been playing aggressive, but... Uh, he showed a little disgust on that last foul, Jim, and you can't show disgust on that, especially when you're leading by so many. But uh, he's going to stay in. No, he's going to get a substitution. They'll come in and sub him out. I believe it's going to be Petrucci back in there. He had two three-pointers in the first half. Shaq goes on the way. Scott knocks down. Two for two that trip. Double digits for Scott. Morial now will run up there and the paint you know, gets into the paint. There's a, a offensive gonna, foul. They're gonna call a foul against N Trip as the Hunter put his hip down and he knocked him away before he took the jump. Nice uh, call by the officials there. Yeah, he created the space, but he created it with a hip and a shoulder. Yeah. So and they these officials are smart enough. They're not going to let this go. Just uh, they don't want any kind of a problem to right. arise. You can't fool those. You, you are a kid, no doubt about. Peoples does a running one-hander into the lane. He's going to get that to count, and he's going to go. Excuse wow. me, that wasn't Peoples. Tyler that was Truesdale, Barton. His first person. Tyler Truesdale with his first foul. You're going to get a good look here of Aaron Barton, the big man at the line. Barton now comes in here, the junior. Or it can't be a junior. <laughs> Sophomore goes, knocks it down. They're going to get a lane violation. Let's do it, you do it all over again. They're going to call Demarcus Wells with a violation. You know, they got to clean the game up, though. When, they got, when you have a lead, Jim, you, you got to learn how to play with a lead. It's very tough sometimes to learn how to play with a lead. And off the miss right there, Peoples going to get that, and he'll get, the, he'll get that uh, their easy bucket right there. It's difficult to play from behind, really difficult, but it's also difficult to play with a big lead sometimes and to, to, to make sure you don't try get into some bad habits. There we go. Scott comes down there. He is watched in there by... Tyler Trussell, and he's going to go into the paint, put it up, get it knocked away, and we're going to get a on the end line. It'll be the Panthers' ball. 9:53 remaining here, halfway through the second half of this game. 75-52, Jim, and now they're going to have the century look on. Now is can the uh, end trip score 25 points in the next 10 minutes? Bring Mike Batista back into game. There's a three-pointer on the way for the Panthers. Won't go. Rebound and a putback back up by Barton. Barton is inching his way up. He has 16 points on the night. 
full timeout now Both called by Antrim. Keith Hag's going to talk things over. And see, those are the bad habits that you call timeout that you don't want to have, Jim. Yeah, they had a 28-point lead just a couple of minutes ago, and now they've cut that down now to 21. Yep. So they've cut seven points into that lead. There's still a lot of time left in this ball game, and Coach Hack is going to let them know that. Yeah, no doubt about it. There you take a look at the. There you see uh, Coach Hack on the bench taking a look and seeing, uh, letting them know too. You know. You understand, he just walked down there to DeMarcus Wells. He says he, it was his responsibility to keep people off of that rebound, and he didn't do it. And, uh, you know, you, you know, you fess up, you, you, you learn your, from your mistakes, and then you, you continue forward, and that's what the, this team has done. This team's a very, very exciting team, and Niagara County Community College is a great place to come, not just for athletics, but for an education as well. Beautiful facilities here. All right, we're coming back out on the floor. We know which five are coming out for Titusville, but uh, got a couple yeah. substitutions back in the game now yeah. for Antrim. Yeah, we won't we won't keep to talking about that. Pachucci's, Morial, Wells, Batista, and Jones in the game right now for the T Wolves. No look pass over here by Wells. Wells trying to look into the paint to get it to Batista. Over there, down in the corner. Morial's going to make a baseline move, get it back out, three pointer on the way. Count it for number 21 again. Oh, yeah. Dave Pachucci gets his third three pointer, and another shirt's going in there. Well, has the ball knocked away, picked up. They're going to call a double dribble on the play as good hard defense by Mark Morial. Some no in-your-face defense there, and Bullback picked it up, picked up the dribble. Wells now with the dribble. They're going to spread it out. Wells going to try a three-pointer. That won't go off the glass. Rebound in there. Here comes Peoples. He's working in there. Bounce pass, and it's got off of his knee. Out of play. It'll be T. Wells' ball. Good try, though, with a one-hand pass there by Hyrie's people. Been watching Charles Jones out there, Jim. He's a big guy at six foot eight, and uh, he just hasn't been able to get loose in there. But uh, he's the he is the largest guy on the floor. Well, I'll tell you what, Morel's trying to get it, work it down to him. He grew, drew as, as soon as Peoples came out, but Peoples is so quick, Jim, that he knocked that ball away. They're trying to work it down in the low post to Jones. Oh, uh, there's a the travel there. Jumper won't count. As a couple steps in there, turnover again by the T Wolves. 8.45 remaining here. 78.54 is your score. And as I said, Charles Jones, 6 foot 8. He is just a freshman out of Queens, New York. So uh, Tripp is eating the cheerleaders' pom-poms for lunch. Now they get it back out to the top of the yard here. There's Scott going. He's got a little move, and it goes in. Knocked away by Wells. Rejected in there as he took it personally as a huge... Big step there by James Scott, Jim, but De DeMarcus Wells said, no way, not in my house. Yeah, from behind, no less. And he, that's all he got was ball. Bullback now taking a look from the outside. He's running the gun, running the point here. They work it down into the center. Houston's going to go off the board, and it's going to be stuck up on the... I'll now, get it. I can't jump up I'll that high. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jump up and get it. We get somebody here from the stands. They can jump up and get that one. No doubt about it. This might, Jim, over under is three shot attempts to try to knock this down. I, for that the over one, under is three. For uh, that one, I don't need a chair, Jim. I need a chair and a stick. So. All right, here we go. The over under is three now. Here's one. Okay. They, well, I, I was saying if the officials took a shot at it. They had to give it to the players. Wells knocks it down right away. Marcus Wells has two points and one retrieval of the ball tonight. <laughs> and here we go now. Pachucci with the ball. Gets it over there to the far side. Gets it right back. Batista's down there in the corner. There's Morial. There's a Wells for a three-pointer. Won't go. It goes up in the air. Houston will come down with it. Mark quickly. Gets it in the hands of Scott. They get it in the Peoples. Peoples is going to go and lose it. Jones comes up with a loose ball. Morial gets it up. Batista now working against two. 
And they're going to get a foul, blocky foul, no doubt about that, Jim. And you try to step in front of it, but you're moving along there. That's a good call by the officials. That foul will be called on Houston. Foul number 15, George Collins first. That's just his first foul of the evening. Line number 14, by Batista. Batista. Batista will knock down the first one. Nothing but twine on that one. He's got a three, a two, and, oh no, just a three and a one, excuse me. I had that two marked down, it was a three. He's got four points. Make it five for Mike. 80 now is the score. They get it over here. Jones is in there on the low post. He's working against Barton down below. Morial now working against Boba can't go. Wells goes way above the rim to grab that one down to Marcus Wells. Now he throws a pass that they needed Gronkowski down there to catch that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one was above everybody. Not sure Charles Jones would have been tall enough to grab that one. Probably not. Oh, they work it down low. Quick hands of Charles Jones and knock that away. Jim, a very entertaining game here today so far. Scott now running the, trying to get everybody out. Barton now at the top, trying to get it down low. He does it. Houston, Mark Houston is going to make a move. Batista's kind of inching his way in there. They're going to knock it off, and Houston will lose the handle. It'll be a turnover, and uh, the T-Wolves will get the ball. Yeah, it's a lopsided score here at 80-54 with seven minutes to go here in the game. But it has been a clean game. Yeah. So you don't mind. Entertaining game. Entertaining game. You don't mind watch a lot of up and down the floor. So, and Titusville's really impressed me because they've, they've been keeping up with the running game. So. Uh, now they get it down there, Jones. Dishes it back out. There's a three-pointer on the way. That won't go, tipped away. And here comes Peoples. Hattery's Peoples working in there. Gets into the paint, he's gonna try a finger roll from about four feet away, won't go. Wells gonna get it up, Batista's gonna go through and he's gonna get a charging call. This day. Oh, and he smacks the ball on the ground. He's lucky he caught that or else that would have been a tee. That's his third Mike foul. Third. Boy, you watch that, Jim, you hate to do that. And, and Tripp's going to make a wholesale change. They're going to bring back in Vandergriff. They're going to bring back in Kazmerzak. They're going to bring back in Joseph and Matthews as well as Trusel, or Truesdell. Excuse me, Tyler Truesdell, number 23 in there. So four to five starters now on the floor for the uh, T-Wolves. Bobak's going to go in there. Looks like Truesdell's going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second. Foul uh, number 23, Tyler Truesdell is second. And they're going to send Bobak to the line. Well, it'll be a 17 foul. It's a one on one situation now. So Bobak has his only point, has come from the charity stripe. Taking a look, makes the first one. His whole game changed in the first half. He picked up a third foul fairly early, yeah. and his whole game just changed after that. He, with no bench, he could, he had to back off everybody. No doubt about it. Second one on the way, nothing but net. Yeah, and he's not a real big guy, so it's it's hard to even get in front of anybody. So Matthews gives it to Joseph, over to the far side. Truesdale catches that. There's that quick perimeter passing. Good hands by Scott, knocks it away. But it'll be T. Wolves' ball. Jim, that's what they think they're doing. They're going to look down. Watch for this ball to go to Vandergriff. Because they're really trying to bring Kazmierzak out to the top. The perimeter passing is open and it opens up those lanes right in there. Joseph, he's going to go in. They're going to dish it back out. There's Vandergriff. Kazmierzak square, but he'll give it up. Nine seconds on a shot clock. Joseph will let it go. Another oh, shirt goes so in there. So that is six three-pointers for Joseph on the evening. That's 18 right there, plus he's got six from the floor. 24 points. Out to the outside, long distance three-pointer. That won't go. Good rebound in there, Houston. I'm really impressed, Mark Houston. Not a lot of height, Jim, but he has got a lot of rebounds. He has, and then Vandergriff right there, he's going to pick up his third foul underneath. He's picked up a lot there. It's just staying busy and getting good, bo good body position. 
Wow, Jim. I'm, I'm, and I am going to apologize here as we're looking at the this going. They missed the shot. They got in here. Jordan Connell is number 15. So we had a. Not only we had that, and people, and excuse me, Scott makes it. That's good by James Scott. Does and I got Jordan Connell, so I'm sorry if we, we've been calling him or Houston, but. We Get got here tonight. A, a lot of our paperwork was a little off tonight. Yeah, they they weren't up to date with that. Wells gonna go in there and put the shoulder down. He's gonna go in and throw it up. There's gonna be foul underneath. But number 15, we've been calling Mark Houston. Oh, Actually, it's been Jordan Canal. Apologize for that blunder. It's a shame that we pick it up with 4:57 remaining here in the in the game. Safely to say the game as Matthews will get uh, his third point from the charity stripe to go along with his two field goals. Make it four. Eight points now for Matthews. He had five assists in that first half, so he can near that double digit and assist. Now his pace of play has really slowed down tremendously. Scott, you're gonna take a oh, off the glass, can't go. Nice rebound in there by Barton. Barton gets it to go. Here comes the Lally oop down there, back out, dish it out. They're gonna try the three-pointer. Kasperzak down low, tipped away that time by Barton, Jim. That time there, a little bit too much passing because they weren't ready. They were looking for an open three. They had a couple opportunities, but weren't ready for the pass. You always have to be ready. There's a three-pointer on the way. Kasperzak can't get it to go. Vince has a three-pointer to his credit here today. They're gonna try to draw the charging foul. Again, Cannell is in there. Truesdell just whacks it away, but Bobek will come up with a ball. Four minutes remaining here in the uh, second half. Lorenzo Joseph, looks like he hit, tweaked his knee a little bit down there. He was laying on the floor for quite a while. Shot won't go. It's gonna go off the hands of Vandergrift. Now we're gonna get another wholesale change by Keith Hack as he's gonna take out all five and bring in five fresh ones. Charles Jones, Mike Batista, Mark Morial, looks like uh, Isaiah Johnson. And in there also Kushan Hunter, number 41. Hunter plays with a lot of emotion down there. He's got three fouls and... Uh... Batista comes up with that steal. There's an LLU. Morial's gonna go in, get off the glass and in. There's Mark Morial, he gets in there with a nice Fast breaks, bucket there. Blow back with a behind the back dribble there. Gets it in, now the paint. Jumper from the foul line. We'll count it for Barton. Aaron Barton. 20 points for Aaron Barton here today. Great job by him and Hyrie's people as far as the scoring goes for the Panthers. That ball's kicked. We'll reset the, uh, we'll get it back out here. 309 remaining, 6287 in favor of the hometown and Triple C Thunderwolves. Jim, three minutes and they are looking for 13 points. It probably will happen. They're gonna get the foul. That's Johnson. Jim, is that his fifth? That would be his fifth. That T is gone. Well, he'll be done with a final of nine points tonight. Nine points, Jim. Three three pointers. And that'll bring DeMarcus Wells back in for a little, a few more minutes here. He's got 301 remaining. Jim, 15 three-pointers made by NCCC here this evening. And there you see the bench of, uh, we got a timeout here. There you see the bench, Glenn Bullback talking things over. And really, what can you say? You know, get it, you say to the guys, you're playing your hearts out, get a breather. We'll get you some subs sooner or later. I guess that's what you got to say. But 301, Jim, you talked about it remaining here, 87-64. And, uh, you know, I like this too. You know, they turn off the time clock for the timeouts. They're gonna give them enough time to regroup. I really like the way this, uh, this game has been officiated. Don Neubauer, Roger Brick, and uh, Brady Danumic uh, doing the uh, honors here tonight. But uh, Jim, my bet is though, in the last three minutes, you're gonna see uh, 
Well, 12 or 13 points go on there, so the final score might be 99 or 100. We'll wait and see. Yeah, well, I think they're going to shoot for that, though. They're going to shoot for the 100. Uh, a lot of guys have put their put their warm-up shirts back on, so they may be done. See James Scott from the line, misses the first one. Nice rebound underneath there by Hunter. Bouchon gets it into Mark Morial's hand. Morial's going to go back. He says, you give me the three, I might take it. We'll see now if they slow things up. If they go now, they're going to go aggressive in there. They get hammered going to the line, shooting without the clock moving will be Kushan Hunter. That's Aaron Barton's foul there. That's his third. He did a good job keeping track of this. We're going to send Kushan Hunter to the line. I usually keep track. I usually listen to the PA announcer. <laughs> <laughs> And there we go, Hunter gets his fifth point of the night. Yeah, we were scrambling with numbers and names, Jim, and you did a great job of getting everything together, at least uh, on the end trip side. We apologize once again to Jordan Canal, but there's the shot, won't go, run down in there by Peoples. Peoples is going to get the ball up, slow things down, and they're going to try to prevent the 100. That's what they'll do, no doubt about it. But it gets stolen away. Wells comes up with the ball. Wells now taking a look. Headman's the ball up. Gets it into Batista. Batista takes some steps as he lets it go. It, Mike, Mike tonight has not liked any of the calls. <laughs> when he watches the tape, though, most of them have been correct. <laughs> Just gets a little bit ahead of yourself. You want to slow things down a little bit. Scott's going to do that, get it back out. Pull back. Now we'll look. Looks back there. There's a jumper from the thing by, by from the baseline by Scott. He gets it to go. Scott. Scott now well in double digits. He's got 14 points or 15 points today. Morial gets it to Batista. Back to Morial. Down into the paint. Thrown away. Tipped away by the Panthers. It'll be the inbound ball by and trip. Morial, a three-pointer on the way. Count it, Mark Morial. That's his second three-pointer. Another T-shirt, 16 three-pointers. They're going in there. I think you know, Bobak's going to be in there. They're going to get his arms getting, Tripp's arms getting tired. Tripp's arms getting tired. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey! <laughs> My partner just caught the caught the shirt in the stands there. And it's a small, so it'll fit me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, what a nice wraparound right a there. A reverse layup by Peoples. He does a great job there. He's over 20. 22 points now for Hyrese Peoples. Baseline tries to get it in here. Wells, Batista wants the ball in the corner. He's wide open. He's got the hands up in the air. <laughs> They're going to give it to him. Batista's going to try to go. He go to baseline. He'll dump it off to Jones. Charles will get it, try to tip it over there. Wells will run it down. 44 seconds to go, 91-68. Coach Hack is calling off the Wolves right here. We want to Thunder Wolves, we, I should say. We want to remind you, too, also to stay with us. We'll try to get our post-game show. Jim Rhodes will... Recap uh, tonight's festivities here as I try to run down a, uh, a interview. Batista will try from three, why not? That's a little short. Barton with a rebound. Here goes Scott on the run. Gonna go up and we're gonna get it over the outstretched arms of Wells. 10 seconds to go. Morial, they're just gonna dribble this out. That'll be the final score. will be 91 to 70. So. A 21-point win here by the Thunderwolves, and that'll do it. I'll try, I'll try to try run down an interview, and we'll turn it over to Jim Rhodes to wrap up on our postgame. Well, you've just seen the N Triple C Thunderwolves come out here and just hang some points up on the uh, on the Pitt Titusville Panthers. N Triple C tonight. Lauren, uh, Lorenzo Joseph, he came in here. He had 24 points on the evening. Jerome Matthews with eight. Isaiah Johnson picked up nine points. Demarcus Wells with two. Connor Vandergriff with six. Mike Batista with five points. David Pasucci with nine. Tyler Truesdell was not able to get on the board. Vince Kazmerzak came in with 15. Mark Moriel with eight. And 
Kashan Hunter with five. And on the other side, John Bobek with three. James Scott with 17, Mark Houston with eight, Aaron Barton 18, and High Rees Peoples with 20. My partner was able to grab the coach here, so he's got an interview. Take it away. Okay, here we are. Coach Hank, uh, first of all, congratulations. Uh, nice win under your belt. Uh, boy, uh, 91 points, an offensive show out here tonight. Yeah, it was good to see him get off on a quick start. The past couple of games, we've been starting slow. Um, so it was good that they got out, got the rhythm, and just kept playing fast, which you want to do the whole time. So then we had five guys get out and push it and run. And that's what we did. I think it was 13 of the first 15 shots they knocked down. That's a, that's a heck of a, uh, a, a start. But, uh, you know, uncharacteristically, though, a lot of fouls committed by your team in the first half. What did you have to say to them in halftime? Uh, just stop reaching. Just play defense straight up. Um, we kept reaching, going for seals that we didn't need to do. We let them go to the free throw line, get easy points. Let them back in the game at one point. It's 32 to 20. Um, at that point, is no rebound, and guys just gave up. So they re regrouped nicely, and we got the win, which is good. 16, I think unofficially 16, it might be more three-pointers uh, made. I mean, you're hitting them from downtown. I mean, it's got to be frustrating on the other side. But, uh, you know, to tell us how your strategy might have changed when you came in here and you looked down on the other bench and you only saw five players. Um, once we saw five players, we pretty much just wanted to push it because with five players, they have no one to sub, so you want to get the game as quick as possible. Um, and we did a good job of off miss shots, make shots, getting it out quickly, pushing up the court, attacking right away. Um, granted, we shot the ball great tonight. Um, which is great because the past two games we struggled from behind the arc, but um, overall it was a good team effort. Keith, one th also one thing too, I wanted to make mention of the fact though that uh, um, you, you did. We thought you did a great job in the first half substituting, and uh, then in the second half you were able to actually to five in and five out. It was it was a little bit easier for you. <laughs> yeah, it made, it made things a little bit easier. Um, but I, again, I wanted to get the starters a bit more reps so we get used to it when we go farther into conference play against ECC Monroe, GCC. Um, but it's good to get everyone in the game always. I had a chance to come out and watch your practice. I mentioned that a few times out there. And uh, spirited practice as it was, I mean, this, this, this team seems to be coming together now as a group. Yeah, they're definitely getting together. We talked about team chemistry, which we need to get, especially, like I said, going into league play. Um, so we're getting that going at the right time, and we'll see what happens from here on out. Well, thank you very much. I know you want to talk to the guys. Thanks for just spending some time talking with us. Thank okay, you there you have it. We'll bring Jim Rhodes in here now. As uh, as uh, Jim, uh, geez, I mean, uh, we got a lot of uh, a lot of lead on a pencil let out today. And uh, your thoughts on, on the game? Well, they came out here, and N Triple C came out here. They got a win that they should have gotten. When you take on a team with five players, they got a win that they needed to. They they got like Coach was saying, they got a lot of reps for some guys. They're starters. They got them in. They got them out, and they got everybody a lot of minutes. So. Great experience for some of the younger guys, and uh, they look look to go deep in the season. Well, we'll have to ask Bob McEwen if he's going to re if he's going to go back and and actually uh, um, rethink the the idea of throwing a shirt into the stands after every three point made because he went through almost uh, a couple dozen shirts tonight. Yeah, yeah, that's, they'll be hanging uh, they'll be hanging shirts on the wall here as the uh, instead of K's at a baseball game. But uh, good job tonight. Jimmy, yeah, I'll just look at the at the stats real quick, though. I mean, 53% from the floor were uh, was on trip. It was an amazing percentage right there. Uh, uh, Lorenzo Joseph, uh, you know, uh, with 24 points, and Vince Kazmierzak with 15, and most of those came in the first half for them. But uh, really, an all-around team effort by this by the N Triple team. Absolutely, good thing. Uh, it was a good game and nice interview we had with uh, Coach Hack. Came out here, young guy that doesn't get a lot of interviews. He did a nice job. <laughs> Yeah, he did. Well, Jim, thank you very much, and that's going to do it here from NCCC. We hope you enjoyed the game tonight. Make sure you take a look at all the credits for everybody that brings you this, this game. Uh, for Jim Rhodes, I'm Jim Sloy. We look forward to seeing you on another broadcast of the Niagara Frontier Sports Network in the near future.